Let's start creating our first fan page with Easy Fan Page Generator. Let's go to Facebook. We come to on our profile page down to where it says Ads and Pages. Click Create Page. The type of page I'm going to select is a brand or product. Choose a category. I'm going to select the website category, but you could choose one of these other categories. And I'm going to call this one Easy Auto Repairs. Agree to Facebook's terms and conditions and get started. So Facebook is creating that for me. So now I've created a fan page called Easy Auto Repairs. What I now want to do, I need to create an app for this. This is to utilize Facebook's iframe technology. Uh, so we go back to our home page, come down to where it says apps, and we want to use the developer app. Now, if you don't have the developer app showing in your list of apps, just click in the search box and search for developer, exactly as it's spelled here, and find the developer app and select that. So I just click on developer, and I want to set up a new version of the developer app. And my app name I'm going to call Easy Auto Repairs. The same as my fan page. Agree and create the app. Now I have to try and type in the security check capture. S T Okay, so I got that correct. Now I'm going to make some settings here in the uh, app. And I want the core settings. So I want this information here, the site URL and site domain. Now to do that, I'm going to interact with Easy Fan Page Generator. So I come here, Easy Fan Page Generator. We go to FB Fan Pages, Facebook Fan Pages. And I put in here the name that I made my fan page, Easy Auto Repairs. I come down and click Add New Fan FB Fan Page. I can click Edit. And I can fill in some more details about this. I'll do that in just one moment. But first, let me show you down at the bottom of the page. Most of the information that you require in Facebook is already generated for you here, so you know exactly what you want to use. So site URL, I just highlight this section here, right click, copy, go back to Facebook, where it says site URL, I paste it. I want the site domain, I go back to Easy Fan Page Generator, here's the site domain, copy, right click, paste. Facebook integration, Canvas page. So I go back to Easy Fan Page Generator, here on the Facebook integration tab, page tabs, Canvas page, Easy Auto Repairs, highlight that, right click, copy, go back to Facebook, right click, copy, uh, paste, then we want the Canvas URL, so back to Easy Fan Page Generator, highlight Canvas URL, right click, copy, back to here, right click, paste. Um, I'm going to want to set this iframe size to auto resize. If you weren't sure about that, again, back in Easy Fan Page Generator, it tells you that the iframe size should be set to auto resize. This is the next thing we're going to want to do, the tab name. We're going to want Easy Auto Repairs. So I right click and copy that and I come back here and I come down the page here to where it has page tabs, tab name. I paste that in there. Now I want the tab URL. 
I go back to Easy Fan Page Generator. I copy the information from there for tab URL, right click, copy, come back to Facebook, put in the tab URL, paste, and save my changes. Let's continue on by copying some information from Facebook back into Easy Fan Page Generator. It's information that we will need at some stage and it just it, it's easier to copy it now while we're here. You see the two pieces of information we want to copy here are this app ID and this app secret key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the app ID number, that one there, right click and copy. Go back to Easy Fan Page Generator and here where it says app ID, I'm going to paste that into there. Let me go back to Facebook and get the app secret key, this number here, this code. So I copy, go back to Easy Fan Page Generator and paste that in this box here. We probably we want this uh, fan page ID at some stage as well. So let's go and do that now because we need to do one more stage at the Facebook end to get everything linked together. So we go back to Facebook, quickly go back using the home key, and then we come down here to ads and pages, and here's our page. Let's just go to edit the page. Um, in the address bar at the top of your uh, browser, you'll find a little number that says ID equals. It will say something like facebookpages.com edit question mark ID equals. We want the number that follows the ID equals. I'm just going to get it from my um, address bar and I'll just paste, copy what's in there and paste it into just down here just so you can see what it is I'm copying. It's a line just like this. This would be in your um, browser and the part that you want is that number there. So copy that and I don't need any of this in here so let me just get rid of it now so I don't mess things up. Go back to Easy Fan Page Generator and that goes in this box here where it says Fan Page ID. Paste that in there. Now we've got all the information that we need to link between our fan page, the app that controls the iframe of the fan page in Facebook, and Easy Fan Page Generator knows all the information it needs at this stage. So let's just come down here and click Update here. Okay, there's one further stage we need to do, and Facebook hide this away. You, you have to find this. It's a little bit hidden. You need to go here to Application Profile Page. And down here, you'll find it says, Add to my page. Click there, so that you can add this application to your page. So here's our easy auto repairs. We click Add to page. And now this application's been added to our page. So we've linked the application and the uh, fan page. And that's it, we're finished with everything now. Let me go back, and uh, we can go back to our page. and there's our page now. At the moment this is completely blank because we haven't done anything, we haven't put anything.